Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. <clears throat> we are back. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for y'all today. Uh, Going to get into the main event of Wednesday's fights. Tonight's fight, Eddie Vasquez versus Kenneth Taylor. Uh, Eddie Vasquez, uh, well, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. You how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you uh, the best gambling advice in the boxing universe. It gets you a lock of the week. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It gets you a uh, request a video, and it gets you the updated props. When the props drop, we will get you the most updated props, and we'll show you how to make money on those as well. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice. So head on over to Patreon, just $5 a month. Get you the best gambling advice. Guys, also head on over to CarnivoreBar.com. That is CarnivoreBar.com. Uh, on the move nutrition without compromise, CarnivoreBar.com. Use promo code 10% for checkout. Uh, use... Promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. CarnivoreBar.com, the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. All you need is meat. I'm very passionate about the carnivore community. All I eat is meat, so I want to spread this. Uh, this is a nutrition on the move. Uh, on the move nutrition without compromise. CarnivoreBar.com, use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Good, uh... Also, go over to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Let's get into today's show. Edward Vasquez. Uh, he came within a, a whisker of uh, being a world champion when he lost a very controversial decision to Joe Cardina. Very, very close fight. Very, very competitive fight last year. He's a world-class fighter who's got robbery losses to Raymond Ford and Joe Cardina. Good skills, good pressure fighter. Pretty good athlete. He can make you miss. He's more athletic and a little bit quicker than you may expect from a fighter of that who fights like that. Um, he blocks shots well. He picks them off. He can catch and shoot, but I don't want to see him do more of it. Wish he used his jab a little more to set his attack up. He comes in first and he, and he slips. And he uses some pre slips and head movement. I just wish he fired his jab out a little more uh, coming in. He stays on the front foot. He pushes forward. He's physically strong. He's, his legs and, and, and his frame is very, very strong. He can push you backwards. He's not the biggest hitter. I think his power is improving a little bit. Like, I think he's sitting down a little bit more in his shots, committing to his shots a little more. And, and, and if you watch his last fight with Bailey, it's just his shots seem to be a little harder. Uh, when he's busy, he's winning rounds. When he's letting his hands go, he's, he's, a, he's a lot to deal with. Like I said, he's got good head movement. He can slip on the inside, make you miss, make you miss. He hits. He keeps the pressure on. He's physically strong. He backs you up. He's really, really good counter short left hook that lands. His counter short left hook just keeps landing. Um, we've seen this th throughout a lot of his fights. <clears throat> good gas tank, good volume, good pressure fighter, excellent condition. He's a really, really well-conditioned athlete. He's always ready to, to throw a lot of punches on you. Aggressive, two-fisted, two-fisted attack. Just keeps coming forward. He's relentless. Keeps you on. I've seen fights uh, with DeGrazza and some other guys where he just doesn't take a step backwards. Like he's that kind of fighter. Just keeps coming forward. Keeps you uncomfortable. Good pressure. Good volume. Good movement. Decent athlete. Good skills on the inside really good on the inside fight uh really good inside fighter really good on the inside he's got a complete bag of punches uppercuts hooks head body he's got a complete bag on the inside that that's where his bread and butter is that's where he wants the fight to be he can jab a little bit from the outside he's a pretty all-around complete fighter who specializes his, his, his superpower is his ability to be relentless and and press the fight on the inside kenneth taylor is an opponent level guy. Kenneth Taylor is not a terrible fighter. He's got a win over Jorge Ramos. Uh, he's not atrocious, but much, much lower level guy. Much, much lower level guy. He's uh he's got draws and 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 50, 50 fights with, with 500 fighters. I mean, he's just not the level at Betty Vasquez, who's a world class fighter. And and the odds on 
on this, I, I think, are even too close. We'll get to the odds in just a minute. Stands up, a little bit of movement. He's got decent skills. He boxes from the outside. He's not super slippery. He doesn't throw a lot of shots. He looks to counter with one shot. He'll stay up. He'll show up in, in a Philly shell. You can get him not to throw any punches if you keep pressure on him, which Eddie Vasquez will. He likes to counter one shot at a time. It's always one at a time. It's very rarely. He can shoot a shot a little bit on the inside, but most of it, most of this is all just one shot at a time. He's got decent hand speed, although he's not a next level athlete. He's not super slippery. Uh, he, he, you know, he, he's got that style. He looks to counter with hooks, with a straight right hand. He, he flicks out his jab a little bit. Most of it's just one shot at a time. No real pop. Not n- nothing great about him. You know, he's a decent fighter with decent skills. He's long. Decent speed, fights from the outside, wants to be on the outside. If you get him on the inside, you, you get him uncomfortable, you get him sloppy, and that's exactly what Eddie Eddie Vasquez does. So I just think this is a, a, a fighter two, level, two notches below Eddie Vasquez who fights right into his hand. So I, I think we may be looking at a stoppage, honestly. Eddie Vasquez may be able to force a stoppage here with Kenneth Taylor. Uh, but I know both guys personally. Kenneth Taylor's originally from St. Louis, I guess, but he's been in Cleveland. Uh, he's been in Texas for a while, Eddie Vasquez lives 10 minutes from me, been to his gym, or his former gym a thousand times. I, I I know both of these fighters well. And Kenneth Taylor is a fine fighter for a domestic for a club level guy. Eddie Vasquez is a world level fighter. So and Taylor happens to fight straight into Eddie Vasquez's hand. So you know if Vasquez can force the fight, if he can stay on him, I know Vasquez only has like three knockouts, <clears throat> something like that in the 16 wins. But he could get a fourth here. He could force the fight. He could, you know, really force the hand and get inside and make the refs out this fight late in the fight. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, oh, let's get – let me pull up the book first. What, what, is, what, what is wrong with me? All right, let me pull this up real quick. Eddie Vasquez, minus 1,800. This is a good fight to build a parlay around. If you're in the Patreon, I gave you a parlay, a really good safe parlay for this week. Eddie Vasquez, minus 1,800. Uh, I will do a two-times bet here, two-times bet. Uh, making $11. Obviously, the odds on this aren't great, uh, but this is safe. It's also a great bet to build your parlay, right? It'll help just bring your odds down a little bit at minus 1,800. There's no chance Kenneth Taylor has in this fight, so you can make this bet. You can really clean up some money on this. Eddie Vasquez, like I said, just levels ahead. Uh, unfortunately, there's no props on this fight. I wish there was. I'd like to see what it was for him to force a stop. It may be worth betting on, but Eddie Vasquez, money line. You can parlay this with a couple other fights that night. You can parlay this for your weekly parlay helps just bring down the odds a bit. But Eddie Vasquez, this is easy money, an easy money victory for, for, for Eddie Vasquez. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, it's October 23rd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.